Electromagnetic radiation is composed of packets of energy called photons that fly through space. The amount of energy each photon has determines what type of radiation it is. Luckily for us, calculating this energy is pretty straightforward. The energy of a photon is directly proportional to its frequency, which is a measurement of how many oscillations the electromagnetic wave of the photon makes each second. To remind you of this frequency, Herbert's hat is shaped like an F. Planck's constant provides the proportionality between energy and frequency. In SI units, it's equal to about 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th. In equations, Planck's constant is denoted by a lowercase h, which you can remember by Herbert's monogrammed h pennant. So, ultimately the energy of a photon is just equal to Planck's constant times its frequency, h times f. So the higher the frequency, the higher the energy. But the wavelength of the radiation works in the opposite direction. The longer the wavelength, the lower the frequency, and therefore the lower the energy. Wavelength is represented by the Greek letter lambda, which you can remember by Herbert's lambda wave bedspread. Wavelength and frequency can also be multiplied to calculate the velocity of a wave. Luckily for us, when the wave in question is any type of electromagnetic radiation, it always travels at the speed of light. So we can sub in 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second for velocity. In equations, the speed of light is denoted by a lowercase c, much like the shape of that crescent moon. With this new information, we can combine the formulas we've already seen to create a new formula for energy based only on wavelength. Energy equals Planck's constant times the speed of light over wavelength. And to remind you of this formula, the H banner and the C moon are over the lambda bedspread.